So you want to make a good Instagram feed. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Brendan here back at you in another video. So today guys, we're going to be going over exactly how you can craft the perfect Instagram feed for your brand, business, Shopify, e-commerce store, anything that you want. This is the way to do it. So today guys, we're going to be going through a couple of different successful examples that you guys can model and use as inspiration for your own business. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump to the computer and get to it. All right, you guys, so you're now in the computer. So taking a look at the first example is Movement Watches. So I talk about this company a lot on the channel, but this brand, this company does massive, massive numbers because what they do differently from most other watch brands is they sell a lifestyle, okay? This is how they craft their entire Instagram feed, their business, their brand, their mission. This is what they focus on. And we're gonna be taking a look at a couple of different stores within different niches. So don't think we're just looking at watches today. We're gonna be looking at very different niches so you can get an idea of different strategies that you can roll with depending on your niche, depending on the overall size of your business, your brand, and the strategy that you want to go with for growth. So taking a look at the first example though, this is probably really the best one here is just they sell the lifestyle, okay? This is what they're going for. This is their strategy. There's lots of different strategies. We're going to be jumping into a couple today, but this is the first one. So the first strategy is you want to go for that lifestyle, right? You want to craft a really, really solid feed that has nice pictures and it's mostly just focused around pictures. So they obviously promote their products prominently in some of their images and really a lot of their images. Although some of them, you can't even really see the watch in it. Like in this one, the watch is relatively small. Same within this one here. Same, same with this one. Like you can see that they're wearing the watches, but really what it's about is promoting lifestyle. And really in this one, especially this one got 30,000 likes. Okay. You can see the reason why it got likes because it's selling booty. Okay. That's what a lot of these companies do to get the clicks, get the views, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, that's what gets people's attention, okay? So obviously, this picture, 30,000 likes, there's a reason why they don't just have a white backdrop with their watch on it on their Instagram feed. It's because that's not what people are drawn to. That's not what people are attracted to. Okay, they see a pretty girl, right? They're going to like it. And then they're like, oh, wow, this image, cool, let me check out their watches. Let me check out this lifestyle. That's what they are promoting here on their Instagram. And you can see which pictures get more likes, okay? Obviously, it depends. Like some of them, like this watch one actually got like a good amount of likes. Uh, that's because it's a giveaway. As you can see, it was a giveaway, so it got a lot of attention there. Um, but you can see like some of the different pictures get more likes than others. And it's clearly because it has faces, all right? There's people in the pictures. When there's people in it and you can actually see their face, typically it gets more likes. It depends, like some of them, uh, some of them are going to hit certain psychological things more than others. This one's really going about that lifestyle with the whole like jumping into the water, the whole like high-fiving the coast, okay? Join the movement. That's their hashtag that they go with. They're a massive, massive brand all built on a Shopify store. So if we go through here, you can see certain images get more likes than others. The ones that get more likes are more about the lifestyle, okay? Things that people can care more about than just the sunglass picture. Like this sunglasses picture, 5,000 likes. Now 5,000 likes is still lot of likes. Uh, don't get me wrong, but in comparison to like 22,000 likes, big discrepancy there in the amount of likes for their follower ratio that they have. So you can see that the, the pictures that are focused more around the lifestyle, the, the whole like funness of this, that's what people buy into. They buy more into the lifestyle, the brand here with this Instagram feed. So obviously you definitely want to have your, you know, your product pictures mixed in and this is something you're going to see across a lot of these different brands is you want to have lifestyle stuff mixed with your products. You don't want to just do products, but at the same time, you don't want to just do lifestyle because otherwise people are like, well, what do you actually sell? Like what, what is the whole point of this, of this page that I'm following? Like if you don't ever talk about anything, like, you, you know, if you only have lifestyle pictures, people might just follow you for the lifestyle and never be interested in buying anything. So you definitely want to mix it in and integrate it, but you can see which pictures get more likes is the ones about the lifestyle that gets them more attention. Obviously the giveaway ones definitely get a lot more uh, clicks than others, but that's really something to focus on here is everything is crafted really nicely, their entire feed. Um, so you can see like which ones get more likes. It's all about the lifestyle, some of the giveaway ones. See, this one was not even a giveaway. It was just an interesting, compelling image about Dubai and it got a lot of people's attention, right? It's all about traveling, this cool, like living this cool lifestyle. That's what Movement Watches is about. If we go to their actual store here, we just take a look at their shop. That is where they feature 
their um, white background images, right? They have a clean layout. You don't want to be, if they just posted this, their products on Instagram, they would not get as many likes. They would not have as many followers. It's because people follow them for the lifestyle on their Instagram. And then because of that lifestyle, right? They see these girls, they see like some of the dudes like being cool and stuff, you know, all fashionable, like, ah, you know, I gotta live this cool life. So I gotta be as cool as these dudes, like, right? You know, people buy into it. People are like, oh man, this dude's so cool. He's so cool. Like, I wanna buy this watch, damn. Like, and so people go to the bio, they click on the website and they're like, oh, these are super clean. And they buy them because of the brand there, right? You know, the Instagram is all about just how you craft your image, how people appear and look and, and interact with your, with your company, your brand and all that kind of stuff. So we go to the website, we take a look at here and you know, this is where they have their really clean product images. That is where you want to have it is on your actual website where people buy stuff, not on your Instagram feed. People, I see this mistake all the time. People just post the white images, these white backdrop images from AliExpress or wherever they're sourcing their products from onto their Instagram page. It's like, that's not what people buy into. This is all marketing. You need to definitely have like the lifestyle, the stuff that gets people's attention, you know, something like this, like this is, this is really attention grabbing. Like this is a really compelling image. Okay. Get some good photographers, you know, just, you can even find other images off, off the internet and just repost them on your page and be like, yo, this is like what we're about. This is our mission. This is our brand, all that kind of stuff. That is what get, gets people's attention and follows and people actually want to interact and like live the lifestyle and then they can live that lifestyle by buying the products. So, you know, they have the, their products obviously and they sell them for quite a markup than what they make them for, obviously. So that's kind of like where their business goes. That's the first example. So more like the uh, fashion type niche. Now fashion niche is a little bit more difficult uh, than others is, you know, in comparison because you really need a lot of influencers and a lot of lifestyle brands branding. It takes a lot longer to build up. So I don't necessarily uh, recommend a lot of people to get into fashion, uh, but this is just the way that they craft their feed. So moving into the second example now, we're going to be going over Frenchy.world. So this one is a French bulldog page. Okay. It's the second, second one here for the, for today's examples. It's a French bulldog page, right? So they post a little videos, they post pictures, they post a lot of different stuff around cute French bulldogs. Now I guarantee you a lot of the people that follow this page probably just follow it for the lifestyle, the lifestyle of all these cool little Frenchies and they think they're cute. Most people probably just follow it and don't ever buy from them. But there is definitely a large percentage that buy from them as well. So how do they craft their feed, right? So this one's a little bit different from Movement Watches because Movement Watches, completely different brand, right? Think about their branding, the way everything looks, very, very different from Frenchie.world, okay? Frenchie World, very, very different branding here, but it's because it's focused around pets, it's focused around specifically the French Bulldog breed, which is definitely when you guys are getting into the pet niche, focus on one breed, it's gonna be a lot better overall uh, because you can get a more like target market versus just going like, oh, I'm targeting every pet. Like, no, focus on one breed that you really like, and that's gonna do you a lot better. But as you can see here with this feed, they focus a lot around little funny videos with Frenchies. So I think I play this one right here. Like you can see, like it's a funny dog video. Okay, this is what people eat up all day. I mean, I think it's cute, it's funny, right? I might just follow this page just to look at cute, funny dog videos, never buy anything, but obviously a lot of people definitely buy from here. So in comparison here, you also see them doing these videos, right? You see them doing all these different videos and then mixed in here, you see like these product pics. These product pics get thousands of likes because of the lifestyle, the videos, the other pictures that they post that then gets them the ability to post just the straight product pic. If they only focused on straight product pics all the time, they would fail, obviously. So they are able to post these product pics mixed in with their videos, their other images, the stuff that is their content, okay? You have to have a content management strategy for your Instagram account, for your for your business and all that stuff because if you don't, uh, you know, pe people don't wanna just see all these products all the time. They're gonna feel like they're just being sold to 24 seven. So you definitely wanna offer them some value by either videos or, or really nice pictures because Movement doesn't really do videos. They just focus on really high quality images, but you know, Obviously, Frenchie World focuses on video and all they do for these videos, like you guys can do this same exact strategy. 
all they do is find like popular videos on other uh, dog influencer pages and repost it. Like it's nothing crazy. Like they don't go out and make all these videos themselves. They just find it off the internet and then they and they make sure to give credit. So if you guys are taking videos and images from other people, definitely make sure to give credit at the top of your post. But as you can see, they just post hashtags, hashtag strategy right there, and they get lots of actual organic engagement. You can see these are actually real people on all these different posts. Okay, you can see these are not just bots uh, going in here. These are legitimate people going in and commenting. So that's kind of like another strategy you go with. You could find videos from other popular pages and repost it on your page to also garner some of that attention, get the views, because obviously it's a post that works. It, it gets people's attention and all that kind of stuff. So think about that. You want to mix in your stuff. Now, if we actually go to their store here as well, so that it seems like they sell French Bulldogs. So they th that's a high ticket product right there. I mean, buying one of these Bulldogs is probably like a few thousand dollars. Okay. It's, it's a couple grand. I mean, I've looked into it before. Uh, it, they're, they're pretty expensive dog breed. Eventually I'd like to get one, but at this point right now, I can't really handle taking care of a dog, but I, I honestly love to get a Frenchie in the future. Like, don't don't get me wrong. These videos definitely make me want one. So that's what they offer as well. They have puppy inquiries, but not only do they sell the dogs, they also obviously sell products on their Shopify store. So as you can see here, Frenchie uh, World, they sell a bunch of different AliExpress imported products. As you can see, I mean, if you guys have ever been on a pet store, you probably recognize like this pet cleaning cup. You guys probably recognize this harness, some of these products, but they're able to sell the crap out of these because they have a massive, massive influence on their Instagram page. I mean, they have 629,000 followers. You can bet that a lot of people go here to their website and go in and buy their products, all right? People may just buy this phone case because they like Frenchies. That's why it's good to have a variety of different products because people that might not have a dog like myself might just, I'm not gonna buy this phone case. Uh, <laughs> don't, like, I'm not buying this phone case, but maybe my girlfriend would want one, all right? Maybe, maybe she would want this phone cover. She doesn't have a dog, like a, a Frenchie. She has dogs, but not a Frenchie. So she wouldn't buy this overall because she doesn't have one, but she could buy the phone case. So think about that when you guys are making your stores as well. If you're making it around dogs, definitely offer not only dog products, but also products that are for the person, right? The, the actual owner of the dog. So think about like people that own it, people that would maybe buy it for their pet. So consider that with your product ranges. If you guys are in the pet niche, um, consider that. I mean, it's definitely something, you know, people buy human stuff too for their, you know, to show their love for their dog. So that's the second store going over today. Definitely a different niche, different strategy, very different from movement here with what they're going for. Now, moving into the third one and the fourth one is going to actually be a fun surprise, so you don't want to miss that one as well. But the third one here is Kylie Cosmetics. Now, I've talked about Kylie Cosmetics quite a bit on the channel. This is the next example here. So Kylie Cosmetics, obviously in the beauty niche, definitely most of their, oh, I imagine almost all their customers come from Kylie Jenner herself. Uh, and that's how they send all the traffic here, just from Instagram. But you can see how they're crafting their feed, okay? Very nice, lots of lots of really high quality product images, super high in branding. Now, one thing I did wanna point out because I don't wanna just keep repeating the same thing of like, yeah, you feature your products and your, your lifestyle, your pictures, all that, right? The thing here with Kylie Cosmetics is that people follow the cosmetic page as well, not only just her. I think she has over 100 million followers now, but 16 million still follow the cosmetics page because they wanna see her cosmetics. But if you notice, beyond the product pics, right? This one has 94,000 uh, likes. This one has like 197,000 likes. These are just um, typical models I think they use for the products. So I, I mean, I'm not exactly familiar with if these are actually beauty influencers. They might be, uh, but for all I know. But look at the difference in likes. All right, a picture of Kylie Jenner herself wearing the makeup, right? 362,000 likes versus just a product image gets like 100,000 likes or even less. I think one of them, yeah, 88,000 likes. Obviously, you see the difference there. 460,000 likes versus 88,000 likes. Obviously, people want to see the faces of the brand, the lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. That's what people care about. They want to see that pretty face wearing the makeup because that is showing off the product. So think about that as well when you're crafting your feeds. Now, I'm not gonna be just repeating the same thing here, but like, it's a, you know, you wanna have a face for your brand if you can. Maybe you're the face of your brand or someone else is. There's just another kind of strategy that you can go with is actually having one single sole person behind the brand. Because as you can see with like uh, Frenchie, 
uh, world they don't actually have like a person behind the brand it's just a bunch of frenchy like viral videos uh then with movement they don't have a single person it's just like they feature a lot of high quality uh photography stuff but then with kylie cosmetics there's actually a face and person behind that brand okay it's like a you know it's a it's a personal brand focused uh you know store so that's another type of strategy and this last one here is actually a subscriber store he actually sent me this saying that he has had a lot of success so this is the last feed i'm going to go through really quick here as kind of like a little bonus for you guys who stayed to the end of the video i appreciate you so this is the little masterful fun bonus that you guys get by sticking to the end of the videos i mean you gotta you guys gotta watch the end so this cool last one here is actually a subscriber store so boxers fight now don't go out there and copy and and be like, oh, I'm going to make boxing stuff because one of Brennan's subscribers succeeded with boxing. No, do a niche that you have passion for. Obviously, he likes boxing, so he made a boxing store. Now, I'll probably do some videos with him in the future or something like that. We're just trying to work out some other stuff. Maybe maybe do like an interview or something like that too so you can feature that on the channel. But for now, I'm just going to go over his feed. Obviously, he's going for a completely different strategy, completely different niche from all the other stores as well. So as you can see here with Boxer's Fight, he focuses in on the boxing niche, clearly. So if we go through here, uh, you can see he does not even post like product pics mostly. I mean, he has a couple of product pic pictures. I think I think really just this one right here with the Mike Tyson thing. Um, you can see that most of the things he posts is viral type videos or viral posts because that's what gets views it gets you to the top of the explore page that's how you garner you know 14,000 followers is by having these types of posts it's what people interact with the most and because they see your interesting weird looking like red circle eye grabbing boxing uh photo or, or video or whatever niche you're in same thing with frenchy uh dot world this is kind of like a similar strategy here that boxers fight is going with kind of like the more viral um you know posts that they're taking from other pages it's definitely something because obviously you're not creating your own content here like how kylie is you know she has a content producer that makes all this kind of stuff for her and just like images of herself but regardless they you know you could take videos from other popular pages and then just repost them on your own page and you know hopefully garner uh, views as well so as you can see here that's definitely what he's doing he's just posting videos that has some viral traction gets people's attention like something like this right lots of legitimate engagement here on this post because it looks crazy it looks weird it's like what the heck is this dude like is this photoshopped you know like what is what is this dude you know people want to find out so that's the type of post that get people's attention very little focus on actual products because if people are interested in your products they're going to go to your website right they're going to click on the site they're going to go to the shopify store and be like oh Wow, look at this. Wow, look at this cool phone case. Wow, look at this these gloves. Look at this jewelry. Like, look at that cool little boxing necklace. Like, people will go to your store if they're interested, but don't just focus on posting products all the time because it's not gonna get as many likes. Like, if you wanna actually grow your page, like as you can see, a common theme through all of these different Instagram feeds is you wanna focus on lifestyle, you wanna focus on like videos, kind of stuff like that. You focus on a personal brand behind it, okay, you really focus on like uh, featuring that person behind the brand uh, or you focus on just videos again so those are all the different kind of strategies that you guys could roll with for your Instagram feed I hope you guys got some value out of this video if you did make sure to hit that like button if you guys want to learn more about how to build a profitable Shopify business I've linked to my course down in the description box below as well as a Shopify 14 day free trial to go ahead and get yourself started if you ever forget to check out the videos beside me subscribe to the channel free Facebook mastermind group and follow me on Instagram everything is linked down in the description box below but anyway guys that's all for today's video so I'll see you in the next one peace out